Greetings, it is I, Shepard Chong, bringing to you the fourth part of the tour of the Mysterious Fortress, an adventure map I did not complete. So, I think this will be the final part. It may or may not be. I'm not, I'm not super sure, to be perfectly honest. I hope it is. I mean, geez, I've been four parts already. When I whole created, when I came up with this idea, it was only going to be two parts. But yeah... So, we're back in this area. Why? Because of these. Now, as I've explained before, these are basically a combination of uh, plot-related areas. Basically, these are areas that are either essential or they are areas that are extra. Whether or not you find them, well, that is a terrible explanation. Okay, uh, let me try again. These areas are either plot essential or they are extra. And in order to get to them, you have to find items. If you don't find the items, you can't get into them. Now, whether or not they're an extra area or a plot essential area is not going to be stated. So basically, you have to assume you have to get into these areas. Now, some of them may or may not be quite as obvious. Um, so before I go into that area, which won't, this won't take too long, let's look up. So, you'll notice that these whole areas are the roof. I probably would have covered this stuff up, I'm not sure. But if you've really been paying attention, you'll notice that this big section of the roof has a whole open area here. I would more than likely have closed all this stuff off, but I kept it open so that I can move around more easily in creative, instead of having just break through roll walls and stuff. So this area, this again would have been another room. There would have been some sort of puzzles or obstacles or something that would eventually lead you to here. You are now on this upper balcony, which you could not get to before. And look! It's a room filled with chests. And there's a hole in the wall. Which I'm pretty sure you could not get to if you tried. Uh, if you knew it was there? No. Okay, good. Pretty sure you couldn't. Not really sure what I was thinking with that overhang, but whatever. Anyway. The reason there's a hole here and there's rubble and dead bodies under the rubble which is what those are meant to be would eventually be explained through various signs and stuff i would put up now you notice that all the stuff i'm opening so far is empty again there may or may not be hidden stuff in here is it going to be plot essential probably not simply because there are a lot of chests, and that's really tedious. And I'm trying to make this a fun map, not a tedious one. Now, if you're really paying attention, you probably realize that this here was the normal entrance to this room. But the hole has been knocked through it. Now let's go around. Oh. Pattern. Hello. Uh, end portal? What's that doing there? And you will notice... What the... Oh, son of a... <sighs> Me and the poorly designed traps. How the heck did you get in there? Oh my god, do not tell me he spawned in there. Oh my god, please no. Oh, that's just... Ugh. Horrible design. Okay, so back to here. There is no way to get into here. This room is literally just to tease you. So, let's look around in it real quick. Light stuff up. 
There is just one missing. And oh hey, an ender chest you don't have access to, ever. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this room is literally just to tease you. This room, on the other hand, you can get into. What's here? Oh. It's a broom closet. Oh. There's stuff. Broom. Feather duster. Cleaning fluid. Scrubbing sponge. Dirty water bucket. That's not named. But here's an ender chest. And a treasure room key. Now, of course, you could use that somewhere other than the treasure room. Where's the treasure room? You haven't seen it yet. And a whole bunch of milk for whatever reason. Okay, so you notice that these are enchanted? Well, yeah, okay, I'll show you what they are. Let's get rid of the enemies real quick so their necks don't get in the way. Room. Crap. Well, that's not good. Well, so much for keeping the map intact. So, feather duster. Yeah, silk touch one. Cleaning fluid. It's poison. <laughs> Scrubbing sponge. Yes, that is a pretty obvious reference to bleach. So, scrubbing sponge, Aqua Affinity One. Oh, that's cute. Dirty water bucket. Luck of the Sea Three. <laughs> and an empty map. Why is it there? I don't know. The broom. The broom probably had like sharpness or something on it, <laughs> just because you know. Hey, sharp stick. I'll poke out your eyes with a point and stick. Anyway. Back to the normal stuff. So. And I'm running out of night vision again. So anyway. Back through here. Uh, but first, let's just check. Yes. If you felt like it, you could fall down from here back into the throne room rather than have to go through here. But of course, if you hadn't already unlocked that shortcut, uh, you'd probably be a bit screwed over. So, anyway. I showed this stuff off. I talked about this. I do think that I would have put some kind of door through here into the room over there, but I don't remember. If that was what I meant to do. So, I mean, there would have been a door over here somewhere, but I don't know if I would have made a separate room for it or something. Again, I'm, I'm not sure. This area here, it would have been either filled in or made into something. You know, so there is a room here. There's an entrance there. This is a completely different floor. This is where another floor is meant to be. And you would have gotten there from here through here. A little bit more complicated. I don't know if I um just didn't make this the right way or what. Given that there is no easy way to get to here, I'm assuming I just didn't finish the stairs here. Oh, whatever. So, what's in this room? Let's look. Door? Oh, hey. It's the room with no floor. And we've got a jumping puzzle. So, there are barrier blocks here. But not everywhere. Oh, wait. Is there? Nope. So, what this is. This is an invisible floor. It might look like a jumping puzzle at first glance, but it's not. This is, in fact, an invisible floor puzzle. Follow the pathway, don't get killed by the blazes that are attacking you. 
How do you know where the pathway is? Well, you don't. These, um, the glowstone and the other brick are basically anchors. They're where you're trying to get to. And, uh, again, it's not super obvious what you're doing, but these do usually indicate some kind of corner or a turn. But and then there's more difficult areas like this, where you basically can't see quite where you're trying to go. Again, there's a level of difficulty here. And again, this whole time you're gonna get getting attacked by blazes. And again, level of difficulty. If you're in venture mode, you can't see the outlines, so it's a significantly less easy than it is right now. Like right there. Oh, almost out of door. Where did I go from here? Over here? All right. Yeah, and this isn't this isn't exactly a super difficult type of puzzle. But again, because of the whole invisible walkways and enemies attacking you, it's not easy. So what do you do? Oh, it's another shortcut. Okay. So again, of course if you fall down here, you will probably die down here from the fall. Not super sure whether or not you do. Uh, anyway, there would have been stuff in here, possibly another separate room. I'm not sure. There would have been at least one more room in the puzzle up here. I believe. Again, it's it's been a year. I'm not don't remember everything I was trying to do. But anyway, from there there would have been an entrance into this area, which you did sort of see a minute ago. When that little crap teleported me somehow. How did he get in there? Okay, so you will notice that this room does not look finished at all. And that's because it's not. This is not a finished area. So each of these would have had one of these on them. So what is this? Well, look inside. Oh, there are pressure plates there. It teleported me. Okay. Where did it tell me to talk to? I'll get to that in a minute. So, pay attention to there. That is, in fact, all of these would have been teleporters. They would teleport you to some location somewhere in the map. Maybe it would be is somewhere you've already been. Maybe it'll be somewhere you haven't. Maybe it'll be into some kind of trap to kill you. At least one of these, I remember, is does lead to a trap to kill you. Let's see, where's this one go? Oh, took me all the way back down here. That would be very inconvenient if you haven't opened any shortcuts. It's kind of inconvenient for me, even in creative mode, because I got to go through a whole bunch of different places again. Back to get back to that one room. At least it doesn't take too long in creative. But again, apparently the way I set this up, I didn't it teleports the nearest player. So if a mob walks over it, it teleports you there. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. Again, another. Thing I did wrong. This is the one that that guy activated. So where does it teleport you to? Up oh, into fire, and you'll notice there is no way out. This was a death trap. Now it's not like um, each of these was tied to a separate command block. They teleport you to the same place. Um, so each of these would have teleported you to a single place. Now, 
you also notice that there isn't actually, aside from the eh, entrance I didn't make, there is no exit out of here. And that is because this one here is the one that leads you to the correct place. And that is right here. So where is this? This is the area I was in a minute ago, and night vision again. Oh, so what's this? No, really, what's this? Why are these here? I'm guessing I just placed them wrong. Though I'm not completely sure, to be honest. Now, oh, command blocks. Look at those. They're empty. These, if you went into them, would have teleported you somewhere else. And over here, it would have been the same thing. Yep. These would teleport you somewhere else if you didn't do the obvious... Well, I say the obvious choice. You just literally got teleported into a room with three doors. Sets of doors. Any one of them could potentially lead to somewhere you want to go. But... If you're really paying attention, or don't have night vision, you'll notice that this door here looks different from the other two. And aside from the fact that it's got the entrance to these fires, it leads you out here. Again, I don't know if I'd call this a shortcut, because it's not. It really isn't. You'd have to get all the way back into the teleporter room and, again, make sure you went into the right teleporter to get to this spot. But it is important for progression. Of course, if I could read the map, this opening here wouldn't be there. So, back to this side. Except that I've only just remembered I put the barrier blocks there, so I can't do that. Eh, screw it. Those are what barrier blocks look like, by the way. So, anyway, this area. There's a door there that you can get through. There are the ones you need the keys for. There's another door and another door. So what's in them? Well, looking through here, it's an enchantment table, and plenty of bookshelves to use it. And uh, where does this go? Well, this is a little mini maze. Is there anything useful here? Ooh, there's another key. So, what about the other ways? Nope, nothing there. Oh, another entrance, and another mini maze. Oh, nothing there. And nothing there. Nope. So basically you would have... These wouldn't exactly have been too difficult. But if you're not trying to explore, you probably you might not have enough keys to get through here. Now what's in this room? Oh, look at this. Anvils, and suits, sets of armor, and a key. And oh, stuff you aren't super, that's not super useful to you. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you could. I think you could. Um, I don't use adventure mode off, often enough, I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure you can craft in adventure mode. So you could, in fact, craft some armor if you needed it. Pretty sure. I really don't use it often enough. So what's in here? Oh, that's another broom closet. Well, this one has arrows in it. And another key. That's labeled as a treasure room key. Ender chest. And let's get it right this time, Shang. Let's look at that broom. Uh, 
These are the exact same items, by the way. Broom, efficiency 5, and silk touch 1. Okay. Alright, so. These are the exact same things in this room, aside from the contents of this chest. Now. At this point... Because everything here is unfinished, hold on. Well, that's sort of annoying. This one little balcony here sort of thing doesn't have barrier blocks. I guess that's how I was getting in and out and creative. Okay, so, like I was trying to say there, this would have been your final goal in the main part of the fortress. You completed all the puzzles, got through all the rooms to get to here. Now, we have actually been in here before. This is the area that I got teleported to in part two, I believe it was. Yeah, so these are teleporters. Again, it teleports the nearest player to this room. And this teleports you back. And unfortunately, it can get activated by mobs. I really... Definitely not going to do that if I ever make any more maps. Um, anyway, so... This room, I didn't take a good look around. There is... Uh, sort of a face as well as two more areas you would place keys. There's another burning netherrack. And uh, let's check this out. What's this? Okay. Now, if you've really been paying attention, you might be able to figure out that this, this here, this is the staircase looking thing you saw. It is, in fact, a staircase. It's just not one that you were able to get to previously. So, I just passed something. What is it? Oh, look. More doors. And I can't get through that through a normal jump. Let's sprint. Yep, you can get there if you sprint. So what's this? This is the treasure room. So... If you've been collecting enough keys, you'll have enough keys to open at least one door. And inside of these... Treasure! And cake! Which are all labeled the lie. Dang, look at that. A chest full of stacks of 64 notch apples. Yeah, so basically, if you get into this room, you're very lucky, and you've really been paying attention to the map. Wow, lots of bottles of chanting, too. You can enchant some stuff if you need it. And in here, weapons! Which are named after various swords from various legends and things. And other things. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I wonder how many people will get the references in there. So, basically, if you were um, really exploring, you'd get a reward for it. And you were... And you, if I'd ever finished it, you definitely need some of, a lot of that stuff for the final boss. The final boss wasn't meant to be, like, ridiculously difficult. It is... It's not exactly like an RPG boss fight. This is... It's Minecraft. It's a puzzle boss. But anyway, it wouldn't have been super easy. And now... Oh, this is an interesting looking room. These are meant to be doors. Again, it's not... It's not super obvious what they are. Um, so... Let's look around. 
Uh oh. These guys have got barrier blocks in front of lava. I wonder what will activate them. What the heck is that? It looks very old, whatever it is. And this is in reference to this. Now, again, this, um, the limitations of Minecraft. This is meant to be a skeleton impaled on this thing here. But again, because of limitations, it isn't really very obvious. So, you notice that ha these had names. Adventurer's Bones. So, again, if I completed everything, that diary you found in the prison, it would eventually have revealed that this guy escaped from the prison, and he went through all these puzzles and stuff, and that this guy that's dead here is that prisoner. Yep. And, Sword in the Tentacle. And again, if you had been, again, if I had completed it, it would have, you would have found out that this whole fortress was a castle of some sort that was inhabited by the inhabitants of the nether, but it was attacked by something. And this something is what this tentacle comes from. Those destroyed walls you stuff, those were made by tentacles as well. Now, what's out here? Didn't activate. That's because these barrier blocks are meant to be a red herring. There is nothing that will activate them. Yeah, they're just there to make you nervous. And out here, oh look, it's a balcony. We're up here on a roof, above the roof. This is that area you saw before. Neat, right? Now you notice there are command blocks out here. They're for something I'll talk about in a moment. This other door also leads to a balcony. And look! Oh, that's an interesting looking face, isn't it? Yep. And they're spewing lava from their tongues! <laughs> yeah, that's the lava that was coming down on the roof, into the mouth down there. And, oh, what's this? This, this is meant to be rubble as well. Again, I didn't do a super great job with it. And this is the rest of the tentacle. This up here, it's a beacon, obviously, but, um, I, I shouldn't have done this. It is set up to, so it gives you stuff, but I really, um, yeah, let's look real quick. So if you're in range of the beacons, anywhere within the fortress because it works not on the y basis but the x and z axis is xi i don't know um you could be on the bottom floor of the fortress <coughs> and more coffin you could be on the bottom floor of the fortress and still be getting the effects yeah it was not my best idea but whatever yeah so anyway back to this area barrier blocks there to make sure the lava doesn't spill out onto the balcony. So, why are these here? Well, these are here for creative purposes. See, look, there's some items, the adventure bone, the adventure skull, and the sword and the tentacle. It has sharp as five. Nice. Now, you probably, again, I'm using these terms too much. At this point, this area was referred to in the Nether Hub as the Final Ascent. Activating these command blocks through these switches will take you to the final boss. But before that, I realized that there is something I forgot to talk to you all about. I missed this. And if you're actually going through the map through a normal mode, you would have missed it too unless you were cheating. And that is the fact that, you know, um, there is this whole massive area. It is really empty. You'd think I would have put something here. I did. Yep. 
It's a balcony that you can't get to unless you're in creative mode. So what's here? Cheater, cheater. Cheater's sword. You actually saw that in the, um, at the entrance to the map. What's on it? Cheater's sword. It's a, a custom enchantments. Sharpness level 13, Smite level 13, Bane of Arthropods level 13, Knockback 13, Fire Aspect 13, Looting 13, and Unbreaking 13. The Cheater Sword has got 23 attack damage. How did you get up here, you cheater? <laughs> Again, I like to throw stuff in for the really observant. So anyway... This is everything in the main map that has been creative, created. Again, it's all unfinished, unfortunately, but you know, stuff happens. So, the final boss. Good, I did manage to make it to there in this episode. Again, the final boss is also unfinished, unfortunately, but let's go. Okay. Apparently, I did not put in the coordinates for that. Oh boy. Wish I had remembered that. Okay, so those um, command blocks aren't set to teleport you to the boss area yet. That's unfortunate. I may or may not edit this bit out. I need to go to wherever I have some. Alrighty, I believe. There we go. No, that was not. Okay. Uh, night vision again. And the final boss. Final boss area, negative 3,000, Y130, Z, negative 3,000. Okay. Okay, slash TP at P, uh, negative 3,000, 130, negative 3,000. Enter. Okay. So, here we go. What does this do? To the hub. All right. Now, again, this whole area is unfinished. Uh, it's, uh, okay, so, if I had set things up correctly, you would have been teleported to right around here, to an area that would basically look like, oh, the doors have been opened, and the way back has been blocked. Oh no, you're stuck doing the final boss no matter what now. Oh, uh, okay. So, this is blocked off as well. What about here? Yep. That's blocked off as well. You've got no choice but to fight the final boss, who is not here. So these doors are opened, and you come out onto this little platform here. Which again, this whole area is unfinished. So, again, this is another huge area I cleared out in creative. Now, of course, this area, this would be gone, sort of. You would not be able to get to this. And um, also, you'll notice that there are barrier blocks here. Basically, there would be a huge drop there that would definitely kill you, and you would not be able to get this stuff behind here. So why did I even bother making this stuff? Eh, I felt like it. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up pretty well. well. What's this? Oh, hello. Well, hello there, cheaty. Were you expecting a reward? Well, here you go then, you dirty cheater. Feces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, something I've hidden around.
dog barking. Again, this is just something I've copied in MC Edit and put here. So, what would this boss fight have looked like? Well, as I mentioned the whole tentacles thing, and I also mentioned um, how I did sort of basically remove the bedrock so things could go above the normal world height of the nether. So basically, the boss fight, after I get smoothed all this stuff out and make it look more natural. So, so notice that I have removed the bedrock on the bottom of the world as well. Basically, if you fall off, you'd fall into the void and die. The boss fight would be a combination of um, jumping puzzles, um, you'd have to be pressing some switches to activate some TNT to destroy parts of the boss. The boss basically would have been a gigantic tentacle monster coming out of the sky. You would have been basically jumping on tentacles that would have been holding still. Um, the original tension was that the tentacles would have had um, these big pillars of um, sea lantern. Uh, but I would have made those in MC Edit. Uh, they would have been sort of just coming out of the void down there. The tentacle monster itself, the, bottom, the tentacles would have been coming out of the sky. And let's see, did I remember? I did. Basically, I went into MC Edit, and, and um, because the fill mode doesn't do enough at a time, fill command, and basically I was going to extend the bedrock over here to make it look like the world height was larger than it act, than it normally is here in the Nether. Basically, there would have been this, this sort of gigantic hole up here that the tentacles would have been coming out of. They would have been sort of moving around these huge pillars of um, sea lanterns. Basically would have been jumping around on the tentacles, activating switches somewhere through, somewhere on the tentacles that would have been blowing them up. Basically once you blew up enough of them, you'd basically be able to get to this one section that would have a command block that would destroy it all. You'd get teleported to another area that I, again, I didn't actually make that would have been saying, oh hey what was all that about that was crazy oh why do i suddenly have this book leading to another place oh what is this and the whole idea behind this mysterious fortress was in fact that there was this was not going to be a standalone map it was going to be a series of three maps but again i just i ran into so much difficulty with this thing that i could not complete for the first one. Yeah. Oh. That took a second. Yeah, so... Back to the starting area. Yeah, this was meant to be multiple maps. They would have been all vaguely fortress-themed. They would have been like the Mysterious Fortress 2 and the Mysterious Fortress 3. That's... Those were the working titles for what I had intended. But again, the whole idea kind of fell through. Yeah, the, the Mysterious Fortress 2 would have taken place in the overworld, so you could have set your spawn points there and stuff. And the Mysterious Fortress 3 would have taken place in the end. Yeah, I actually had some ideas for them. The overworld one would have looked more like a traditional sort of castle rather than the crazy nether brick fortress. And the uh, one in the end would have been made out of all sorts of crazy materials and it would have looked super strange just to fit with the whole it's the end everything is crazy sort of thing and it would have been like wait a minute isn't the nether isn't the um the end dragon supposed to be here where is it what is this gigantic castle looking thing you know stuff like that but again the whole thing just sort of fell through because of limitations of my computer limitations of time Limitations of creativity. Yeah, I was having a lot of trouble coming out with puzzles. Yeah. So. I do believe I have come to the end of all of this. Unfortunately, this thing... It's dead. I'm... 
never going to be working on this map again, unfortunately. There was a lot of stuff I liked about it, but uh, I just I just had so much trouble I could not continue. In fact, when I had um, stopped making this a year ago, I had actually intended to um, restart making it um, after 1.9 was released. Of course, that 1.9 only lasted three months, but... <laughs> um, yeah, again, I just... I didn't have the time to work on it, didn't have sort of ideas for it at the time. But if you're still sticking around to this end point, I've um, put up some various short videos on my channel involving Minecraft builds. And if you were really paying attention to them, you've noticed that they involved a good bit of nether brick. Yeah. So, can you guess what they're about? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. And here's the answer. I want to make a new version of this map. I've been creating assets for it in various things. I, One of the those were maps I created, for example, was in 1.9 before 1.10 was released. I have been making some assets for it, and I do want to go back and make a new version of the Mysterious Fortress. Will it happen anytime soon? I don't know. Probably not. I've got... Eh, it's an issue of finding the time, pretty much. Because, again, this... what's in this map? This took at least 20 hours. But again, I also was experiencing lots of problems. But again, who knows? I'd love to get this map out before 1.11 comes out. And again, I have no idea when that's going to be. But anyway, hopefully the new Mysterious Fortress will eventually get released. I am Shepard Chong, and this was a tour of a dead adventure map that I made called the Mysterious Fortress. Goodbye.